Hello students, hope you all are well. In today's video, I am going to discuss about a very important part of geometry that is congruency. Now what is congruency? Which figures are said to be congruent? First of all, you have to know this. A pair of geometrical figures are said to be congruent if their corresponding sides and angles are of equal measurements. In this video, especially I'll discuss about congruency of triangle. So it means two triangles, a pair of triangles are said to be congruent if their corresponding sides as well as angles are of equal measurements. So let's start today's discussion. Hope this video will be helpful for you. So today I'm going to discuss about congruency of triangles. So if you consider these two triangles, here I have taken two triangles. If you consider them, you will find that if one triangle is kept on the other, then they coincide. Isn't it? Why does it happen? Because in these two triangles, all three pairs of corresponding sides as well as angles are of same measurements. That means these triangles are congruent. Now the question is, if you are given a pair of triangles and you have to judge that whether those triangles are congruent or not, then how you will do that? Actually, there are, basically, there are four conditions of congruency. And if you find that the pair of triangles what are, which are given to you are satisfying any one out of those four conditions, then you will conclude that the triangles are congruent. So which are those four conditions? Let's see. The conditions of congruency are first of all S, S, S side, side, side congruency. What does it mean? If in two triangles you find that three pairs of corresponding sides are of same measurement, then you will conclude that the triangles are congruent. The next one is S A S. Okay, you can see that if two pairs of corresponding sides and one pair of corresponding angles between the triangles are of equal measurements, then they are also congruent. The third one is A S A. Just by the same way, if between two triangles you find that two pairs of corresponding angles and one pair of corresponding sides are equal in measurement, then you will conclude that they are congruent by ASA condition. And the fourth one is RHS. That is, this type of congruency condition basically goes for right angle triangles. If in two right angle triangles you find that there are measurements of hypotenuse and any one pair of the out of the other pair of sides are the two pairs of sides are equal in measurement then you will conclude that they are congruent by RHS condition. So let's discuss about all these conditions one by one. So let's first discuss about SSS condition of congruency. When two triangles are said to be congruent by SSS condition. If you consider these two triangles, we will find that their corresponding sides are of equal measurement. Suppose I am taking the triangle, this one, in this way, okay, in, in, in inverted way. Then also they will be congruent by SSS condition. Why? If you rotate this triangle and then you will keep this one over the other, then they will coincide. That means all the three pairs of corresponding sides of these triangles are of equal measurements and that is why, why when you keep one triangle on the other, then they coincide. So we will say that these two triangles are congruent by side, side, side conditions. That is if you are given a pair of triangles and you find that three pairs of Three pairs of corresponding sides are of 
equal measurements are of equal measurements then the triangles are congruent by SSS condition or side 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 condition of congruency. So here we see that if in two triangles three pairs of corresponding sides are of equal measurements then they are congruent by SSS condition of congruency. Now let's discuss about SSS condition of congruency that is side angle side condition of congruency. When two triangles are said to be congruent by side angle side condition of congruency, let's see. Suppose you are given two triangles. These are two triangles. And in these triangles, ABC and DEF. For an example. Now in these triangles, if you find that according to the given condition, according to the given condition, the measurement of AB is equals to the measurement of DE, the measurement of AC is equals to the measurements of DF, and the included angle between this Corresponding pair of equal sides are equal in measurements. The included angle, I repeat. Then the triangles are congruent. ABC and DEF are congruent. By SAS condition of congruency. Okay? They are congruent by SAS condition of congruency. And make sure symbolically this congruency can be written this way. Triangle ABC is congruent to, this is the symbol of congruency, triangle DEF by SAS condition. Okay? So, two triangles are said to be congruent by SAS condition only when we find that two pairs of corresponding sides are equal in measurement and the angle which is included between those two considered pairs of equal sides are also equal in measurements. Then the triangles are said to be congruent by SAS condition of congruency. Now, let's discuss about ASA condition of congruency. What is meant by A is A? Angle, side, angle. Condition of congruency. When you will say or conclude that the given pair of triangles are congruent by A is A condition. If according to the given condition of measurements of sides and angles, you find that between two triangles, what are given to you, one angle Suppose angle B here is equal to angle E that is equal to the other angle of the other triangle. Another angle is also equal to the other one out of those other two angles of the other triangle. And moreover, if you find that the side what is included between those two corresponding pairs of equal angles are also equal in measurements, then you will conclude that triangle ABC is congruent. Now you know the sign of congruency, symbol of congruency is congruent to triangle TEF by ASA, angle side angle. Look at the condition students, angle side angle. Why S is between AA? Because here we see that the equal corresponding equal sides which are considered here are Included between those two equal angles, corresponding equal angles, which are under consideration. That is why in the condition we write A, S, A. S will be included between these two angles, right? A, S, A condition of congruency. 
okay so if between two triangles you find according to the given conditions that measurements of two pairs of corresponding angles and one pair of side which are included between those two equal angles are also equal in measurements then you will conclude they are congruent by angle side angle or a is a condition of congruency now let's discuss about a special type of congruency that is a a is condition of congruency angle angle side condition of congruency you may think that earlier I have not mentioned about anything about this AAS condition, right? I told you basically there are four conditions of congruency. One is SSS, SAS, ASA and RHS. Then what is this AAS condition? Look students, when I was discussing about ASA condition of congruency, I told you for several times that the sides which are under consideration, the equal corresponding equal sides between the triangles are included between those pair of equal angles, isn't it? But what will happen if according to the given condition you find that the equal sides between the triangles are not included between the pair of angles? Yes, this is the case when you will conclude that the triangles are congruent but not by ASA, by AAS condition of congruency because the side is not included between the equal angles. Let's say this. Suppose here I have taken two triangles ABC and DEF and you find that according to the given condition, this angle is equal to this angle, means angle B equals to angle E. Angle C is equal to angle F, but the sides of these two triangles, which are equal in measurement, are situated in this way. This side is equal to this side. So, if you can find that these two sides, A, B and D, which are equal according to the given condition, are not included between these corresponding equal angles. So, in this case, what will be your conclusion? Triangle A, B, C is congruent to triangle DEF by angle angle side AAS condition of congruence. So we will conclude that triangle ABC is congruent to triangle DEF not by ASA as the side is not included sides are not included in the triangles between the angles so that is why by AAS condition of congruence now let's discuss about RHS condition of congruence what's mean by RHS right angle hypotenuse side means if between two triangles you find that corresponding these three things are equal in measurements between the triangles, then you will conclude they are congruent by RHS condition. Suppose here I have taken triangle ABC and triangle TF and suppose that angle B and angle F of sorry angle E of the triangles are 90 degree in measurements. That is angle B equals to angle E both of them are 90 degree in measurements right now along with this if you find that according to given condition hypotenuse AC is equals to hypotenuse DF equals to hypotenuse DF And among the other two pairs of sides, any one pair of sides are equal in measurements. Suppose I am taking as per given condition, AB is equal to DE. Then you will conclude that these two triangles are congruent by RHS. Because here we have considered the right angle, hypotenuse and side, any one pair of the other two pair of sides, out of the other two pair of sides are equal in measurements then you will conclude that, that the triangles ABC and triangle DEF are congruent by 
R H S condition of congruence. Okay, so two triangles, two right angle triangles are said to be congruent by R H S condition. If you find that the measurements of their hypotenuse and the measurements of the other pair of any one of the other two pairs of sides are equal in measurements, then you will conclude that they are congruent by RHS condition of congruency. So students, in this video, I have discussed about four basic conditions of congruency between two triangles. That is, two triangles may be congruent either by SSS condition or by SAS condition or by ASA condition or by AAS condition or by RHS condition, right? I have explained all those conditions. Hope you all have understood. But have you ever thought that angle, angle, angle is never included among these conditions of congruency? Why? Because look, students, if you want to draw a 60 degree angle, suppose this is a 60 degree angle. Here, this is a 60 degree angle. Suppose, okay. Now, if you extend this arms, suppose this BA is extended up to X, that is BX. BC is extended up to Y, right? So, these arms are now doubled. Focus. Let's take that they are doubled, arms of this angle. Now, what will be your conclusion? As the arms of the angle ABC are doubled in measurement now, will this measurement of the angle be doubled too? No. The angle will remain the same. So, from this logic, we can understand that it may happen between two triangles that their corresponding angles are equal in measurements, but the sides may not be equal in measurements. That is why, why when one triangle will be kept on the other, then they will not coincide. That is why angle, angle, angle can never be a condition of congruency. For an example, I have taken these two triangles. Here you can see these are two triangles, right? Now in these two triangles, you can see if you observe it properly, that this particular angle is equal to this particular angle in measurement measurements of this two angles are equal at the same time measurements of this two angles are also equal measurement of this two angles are also equal but if you keep one triangle on the other they will not coincide because their sides corresponding sides are not of equal measurements Angles are equal, corresponding angles are equal, but the sides are not equal in measurements. So, obviously, they are not congruent and that is the reason angle, angle, angle can never be a condition of congruency. So, in today's video, I have discussed about the congruency, concept of congruency of geometrical figures, especially congruency of triangles. And also, we have seen that when a pair of triangles are said to be congruent but we have seen we have seen that if according to the given conditions or given informations about the triangles we find that they are satisfying any one out of those conditions what we have already discussed then we will conclude that triangles are, con are congruent by that particular condition that is all the corresponding sides and angles are equal in measurements between those two triangles Hope the concept is clear to all of you. Now you take pair of triangles, see, observe the given conditions about them and try to find out whether they are congruent or not. In my next video, I'll discuss about how these conditions can be applied for proving congruency between the triangles. Till then, take care, stay safe.